A while back, I had an issue with the charging system on my W123. Now, what it ended up being was that I was doing a lot of short trips, a lot of cold starts through the winter, where I wasn't really giving enough time to get the battery fully topped back up. And there's a reason for that being such a serious problem with these cars. The original factory AL80X alternator that comes on most of the OM617s is rated either as a 55 or 65 amp alternator, which is not very big. So if you're doing cold trips or you live in a cold climate where you're using that afterglow and the glow system a lot, putting a lot of draw on your uh, charging system on your battery, if you have extra stereo equipment like subwoofers or things that may be putting a lot of load on your electrical system, that 65 amp alternator may just not keep up. So I was doing a lot of short trips and it ended up killing my battery. So let me show you in the video today what I did to fix my charging system by upgrading to a much larger AL129X alternator, which puts out 115 amps, a massive upgrade for my charging system. We've got our old 65 amp alternator out of the car and the new 115 amp alternator ready to go in. Except it's got the wrong pulley. So we need to swap the pulleys over, which isn't a big deal. That's easy enough. And uh, might want to get a rag or something to kind of hold these fins a little bit because it's probably stuck pretty good. <clears throat> so you don't tear your hand all to pieces. Now, I don't know, we may not need this fan or any of this stuff. That came off a lot easier than I expected it would. So, we'll do the same thing with this one. Well, there we have it. With a brief struggle, we managed to get our new pulley back on, use the new fan, most of the new hardware, all the spacing, everything should be spot on. So let's take this new 115 amp alternator and get it back into the car. Huh. Here's this one does not want to go in from the bottom. It's ever so slightly larger got the bottom in and started into place. So now let's get our top bolt, which is the adjuster bolt, along with the spacer in there. We're going to take this little blue wire. Yeah, looks like it's blue. We're going to clip that off and put on a ring terminal so that it will fit the new alternator. And then we're going to run our new four gauge cable. You saw us crimp ends on the other day and run that up to our uh, junction of over there. So Let's put this terminal on here. We'll just clip this off. Leave a little bit in case we want to reconnect it sometime later on down the road. Slide that onto there. Crimp it down good. Now we'll go ahead and put that on our smaller 
terminal down in here. Now, we're going to tighten those up and route that red wire over to the junction box right next to the battery. So we're going to go ahead and route that, zip tie it up to some wires or to some other things so that it's not shorting out or rubbing on anything. So I'm going to have to move the camera to do that though. All right, so now over here next to our battery, we're going to disconnect this wire center one. We're going to take these two that are in a pair, set them off to the side, and we're going to take our new red wire and connect it where they were connected to. So that's all there is to the actual upgrade. Obviously there's other stuff. You're gonna to have to put your um, turbo YouTube back on there, tidy up some of this stuff. I'd suggest uh, heat shrinking or taping these, reconnect your battery, tidy up the other stuff. But this is all you need to do to get the new alternator, the upgraded alternator to charge and work. And just like that, We've got a new alternator in here. The bolt pattern's basically the same. The AL129X is a little bit bigger, so it's a tight squeeze to fit that thing in from below, but it will fit and all the bolts line up with minor wiring modifications. Now we've got way more charging system capacity that will keep our battery healthy, happy, even in the most severe use in the worst possible climates. So hopefully this has pointed you in a direction that if you need to upgrade your charging system on your OM617 power vehicle, you know where to go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. 90 degree hoods are amazing. If your car doesn't have one, you've got the wrong car. Um.